we are gonna create condition notes. So condition notes, let's swing back here. Usually on your table, you're gonna have your books separated in a way where you have very good books, good books, and then acceptable. There's a way that you could have these condition notes saved in the software so you don't have to keep typing these condition notes all the time. It's just gonna be saved all the time as you list. We're gonna go back to the software. And so everything is step-by-step -step on this page. It's a quick start guide. So you just create condition notes here. You could also create condition notes by going to list FBA and then update condition notes. So bring you to the same page. So the first condition note that we're gonna do is a very good book. Now the condition code, this is almost like a sub condition condition that's going to be stored into your into your SKU. So in case like if you have like a CD or it doesn't have a dust cover, um, this is where you can designate that item. So that way when you look at the item at Amazon Seller Central, you're going to be able to see that, oh, this one has a CD or this one doesn't have a CD. For the condition code, we're just going to put NA for now. It's a very good book, just a general very good book. And we're going to put in the condition note right here. If you need some templates for condition notes, you could go to books sellacademy.com that template is under FBA guide for used books and we're gonna scroll down to list on Amazon and you scroll down here we have some examples for a very good book you could simply copy that bring it back into bookseller Academy now click add condition note and now that condition note is saved you can see you have a condition note that's saved right here that you could use as you list so let's just create another one go back to dashboard create condition notes create a used good condition no condition code just gonna put na for now we're just gonna go back to bookseller academy and we are gonna copy okay, go back gently use okay add condition note now you have two condition notes that you could work with now let's actually use the condition code in a way where it makes sense for you let's go use good and we'll do a condition code that it's a library book so i'm just gonna say it's live so we have one here that says X library. It's a former library book. Copy that, put in the condition note. I'm gonna add the condition note. Okay, now you have three condition notes. One that's very good, one that's used good, and one that's used good with a library condition code. Click the links below for a free trial.